If you've reached this step, you should now be able to articulate numerous real words containing the new S sound. You should also be practicing words that you use regularly. Let's use some of these words and practice them in sentences. Jump in the sea. I went last. She kissed me. Jump in the sea. I went last. She kissed me. Begin with small sentences, around three or four words. And when you are confident, increase the length of the sentences and the complexity of the words. Here are some more complex sentences. I suspect he didn't get the message. There is a mouse in the house. He felt seasick when he went sailing. Let's try those again. I suspect he didn't get the message. There is a mouse in the house. He felt seasick when he went sailing. There are more sentence examples in step 11 of your workbook and you can make up your own. Keep practicing these sentences until they roll off your tongue. Answer the following questions before moving to the next step. Are you able to articulate real words in sentences using the new S sound? If you've reached this part of the program, you should confidently be using your new S in most words appropriately. And now that you have developed a new and strong motor program, we're not going to be using the symbol anymore, but we're going to be using the real S letter. You cannot use the dollar symbol when you write, and when you read, you'll see the letter S symbol. The whole reason we avoided this letter up to now is because we wanted to build a new motor program for the S sound. Before you had developed your new S motor program, you would have automatically used your old motor program to pronounce S, and you would have lisped. Now that we have a new motor program, we have to transfer that motor program over so that whenever you see the S symbol, the proper letter S, you'll be able to use your new motor program and not the old lisp motor program. Let's just practice. When you see the following words with the letter S symbol rather than the dollar symbol, do you feel inclined to lisp when you say them, or are you able to articulate the words without a lisp? Try to say these words and be aware of what your tongue is doing. Use a buddy or a mirror to see if you can say them correctly without a lisp. Get a book or a newspaper and read some paragraphs, making sure to concentrate when you articulate any words that contain the S sound. Remember, some words that are spelt with an S are actually pronounced as a Z or a Z. This often occurs with words that have S in the middle or at the end. For instance, words like sausages or fleas. Some words also contain the letter C but are pronounced with an S sound, such as science or niece. When you have practiced reading some passages of text, answer the following questions before moving to the next step. When you see written words containing the letter S, are you able to articulate them without a lisp? Can you read a passage of text without a lisp? 